Merry Christmas! Uh, welcome back. Christmas day today. I want to show you something creative again. Something that I love making since I came to Australia. For Australians and for Italians. And especially from the town of Trieste, the town where I'm from. Today I'm going to make the prosciutto in crosta. What does, what does that mean? That means the leg ham that you usually have for tradition for Christmas. I'm going to wrap it into my sourdough bread. And then we're gonna bake it so it's nice and moist and that bread crust absorbs all the beautiful flavors and juices and smokiness out of the ham. So keep watching, liking it. Please subscribe if you like what we do, if you like what we're sharing. And uh, support us on all our different platforms and outlets. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, YouTube of course. And uh, whatever you can find healthy Nasty Kitchen or nastykitchen.com. So keep watching, leg ham coming along right now and we'll see later on how it's gonna taste like. So here we go, we have the dough, which is the main, the core ingredient with the ham. Dough pasi. And then we scoop up the dough. And what I use here is just the normal sourdough base, the sourdough base that I use for any other preparation of baking base bread that I do. So this is very simple. Some flour. On the top, some flour the other side as well. See, it's because it's been fermented very well and it's been resting overnight, I can stretch it as much as I want. You see, that's beautiful, it's big. So, you need to Calculate the size of your ham, okay, to be able to do it. To make sure that you can wrap it all. To try not to break it, okay. I like to use some mustard alancien or seeded mustard as well. It's a, it's a bit of extra flavor. You can put some rosemary if you like. It's up to you. What you can also do sometimes is to soak the ham the day before in a marinade made with wine, made with vodka, whatever it's your flavor. So it can suck a bit more liquid into it as well. Yeah, this beautiful master d'Alancien. And we put it just on the bottom side, just because on the top we left the skin, the smoky skin that we're gonna remove just once the bread has been cooked. And now we start wrapping, wrapping the beauty. Let's see, very simple. Seal it. And this will be bread that we're gonna eat. And what we're gonna do, because the bread was already well fermented, we don't need to wait to make a proof. We can just go straight into the oven now. So we have a tray. We're actually gonna cut a bit of this one. And let's see if we can write something with it. There's enough bread dough here. Here we go. See, beautiful, huge ham, was better the other way. Here we go, nice and wrapped, so it basically steams in there. Some egg whites, make it nice and shiny. Some egg whites. Now we put it in the oven, ready to go. Now we're gonna put this one in the oven for about an hour and a half, two hours until the crust is nice and colored. And then we're gonna bake this one out for an hour and a half, 140 degrees, probably two hours, until it's beautifully colored golden and the ham is nice and warm inside. Let's go and have a look, after 45 minutes, how the ham looks like. It's cracking. Look at that, how beautiful that is. Here we go, ready. Ready to carve, guys, ready to carve. Look at this beauty. Rebecca. Rebecca. No, I'm in the pastry because I'm 
Ha, 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 ha. 